Howdy, y'all. Just look at this good stuff we got here to try today. It's me, Rob, of Rob Tackle Box and Tackle Box Inc., and uh, you're watching food reviews. This ain't spam, but it's a, it's a knockoff of it, or apparently, or some sort of entering, in our, in, in, incursion of it, whatever the hell that word is. Any which way, Bristol brand fitting lifestyle. Fitting lifestyle, this guy, this is what gets you this looking, beautiful looking body. Bacon grill, luncheon loaf, chicken, ham, and bacon, smoke flavor added. You got to have that smoke flavor. You know, you don't want it smoked, but you want the smoke flavor added. That's how you know it's good. This is a 7-ounce can, 190 G grams. It's inspected by the U.S. Okay. Uh, let's see if we got anything on here. Fully cooked, ready to eat, hot or cold. That's how I like it right out the can. Uh, ingredients. It's really small writing. Mechanically separated chicken, water, ham, salt, bacon, curd, cured, okay, with water, salt, sodium, may contain sugar. They don't know. Uh, dectrose brown sugar, smoke flavoring, flavorings, potassium chloride, sodium phosphate, sodium ethobate, ethoserbate, whatever the hell. Sodium, yeah, modified cornstarch. You don't want regular cornstarch, you want the modified cornstarch. Uh, contains 2% or less of corn, starch, sugar, brown, sugar, sodium, phosphate, smoke, flavoring, sodium, 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 sodium nitrate. Distributed by Zanberger, Zanber, I can't group, food group, yeah, say whatever, Cincinnati, Ohio. It can't be bad from Ohio. It's a nice old pull can top. Let's get into this, see what this stuff's about. I won't break the can off. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It looks like a spare body part or something in a can. I ain't licking that. Okay, I got me a little plastic fork here. I'll dig into this beautiful... See if I don't break my plastic fork off. This is some thick stuff. It's like cutting into Play-Doh. You ever wanted to eat Play-Doh? I'm sure a lot of y'all have. I didn't, but I've seen it happen. Oh, this is good. This is like tearing out a chunk of flesh. Just look at that goodness. I got a goddamn mosquito. See this son of a bitch here biting my ass? Look at his little fucking ass. Cocksucker's trying to spill my blood on camera. So here it goes. Fuck off, mosquito. Definitely tastes like ham and bologna mixed. Uh, pretty good. Tastes like a potted meat. Tastes like a Vienna sausages is probably the same fucking shit. But look, look at that. I like it. it's nice and clean looking. Like I said, it looks like they. This looks like meat they grew, like some kind of android skin. Like it is meat. Yet it's not at the same time. Now you chemically separated this shit. But it's pretty good. Like I said, it's like eating a chunk of bologna. Got good flavoring. I can taste the smoke flavoring. Uh, definitely. Might break my plastic fork, though. It's got some toughness to it. I love that. Sound it makes like you're ripping, yeah. It feels, it sounds like when you pull off some leather pants when they've been stuck on you too long. You got a little weird bird going up a tree over there. Mm. Pretty damn good though. That's my favorite kind of meat, eat right out the can, cruelty free. See, it didn't kill nothing, it came out of can. This meat didn't have a face. It was grown in a lab someplace. I just love it when you get a nice mold. It's like eating that there canned cranberry sauce. Mmm. All these places. And Burger King and their fake meat. Organic meat or whatever the hell it is. Fault, whatever the hell they're pushing. I don't even know what it exactly is. I saw some article that the whole food, the whole eh, whole foods 
um, CEO or whoever the fuck said that the fake meat, the alternative meat that's vegetable based is bad for your health, but it's good for the environment. So you should eat it because it's good for the environment. You should kill yourself, but fuck you. You're, it's good for the environment. Now, I eat this right here is what I eat. Canned meat. Got all the animals in there. I'm not even trying that Burger King thing. I ain't eating that. You know it ain't no good when they make, make they're making these. That's what I hate about vegans and and all that type weird people with that shit. They don't want to eat meat or have a face, but they always try to pull it off as meat. Like if you don't want to eat meat or have anything to do with it, why you gotta shape it like meat? Why you gotta make it look like meat? Imitate meat. Making it jelly form, whatever the fuck you're eating, make it what it is, man. Eat eat some nuts and seeds or whatever. They got to make it look like meat, though, like they're going to fool you. Look at this shit. <laughs> well, there you go. It's a meat sickle. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that jelly, like, congealed fat. Yeah. That's my rap name, Congealed Fat. New album coming out. Ugh. Called Vegan Friendly. I wonder if this meat was locally sourced. My meat's locally sourced, pulled fresh daily. <laughs> oh, God. this is actually good, though. I'm not sure where I got it from. I think it's probably from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, or might be from one of them Save a Lot stores. I don't know. But I will be getting a can of spam or something to do because I have been requested to eat some spam. I know this is similar, but it's not spam. I'll get some spam. I'll get to it. Get some of that pumpkin spice spam. Oh, yeah, baby. Can't get any whiter than pumpkin spice spam. When you're getting up close and personal with me and my Ford Escape, I just got it back down here with all the new tires. Started kind of raining out there. It's kind of stopped now, but I wasn't risking getting my phone wet. My tripod, none of that shit. Plus, I enjoy sitting down in my nice, comfortable Ford car, American-made, even though it's really a Mazda. Oh, lordy. That's good shit, though. All that sodium in there is the trick. It's good for you. It gets that blood pressure up. You can feel your arteries like pumping too hard and as soon as they get the least bit clogged, you're just gonna have an aneurysm and and fucking go, but you'll go fast, man. It'll be a big one with this shit, all the sodium that's in this thing. It's like 14 sodium by Google makes, huh? Nutrition facts. Serving size is two ounces, so this container contains 3.5 servings, it has 120 calories per serving, uh, calories from fat, 90, based on a daily values, based on 2,000 calorie diet. Total fat, 10 grams, saturated fat, T point, 5 grams, trans fat, zero, it's got zero trans fat though. I don't like none of that trans fat, I like that straight saturated fat, none of that trans shit. I don't play that way, son. Cholesterol, 60 milligrams. Sodium, 610 milligrams. Total carbs, six, I mean, uh, three grams of carbs. No dietary fiber, zero. Sugars, one gram. Protein, one gram. Zero vitamin A, zero vitamin C. Calcium, 4% and iron, 4%. Get you 4% of iron, baby. Yep. Just broke my damn fork. Luckily, I broke it off in there. I'm just going to eat like a order. This is what you get when you come to my fancy soirees. You get some spam on a, or bacon grill on a stick. Mmm. That's how I should have ate it the whole time. These forks aren't, aren't built like they used to. Remnants. That looks like what these these women on POS coochies look like. <laughs> so, son, tell you, if you're in the dating game or single, I feel sorry for you. Going on that POF, man. That's, you see some nasty shit on there, son. 
and however you want to feel better about yourself, get on POF and look at some of them people. Them girls on there got 17 ch children from, from 20 different daddies. Talking about they ain't about trauma. Hmm. I'm like, bet you is drama. Looking for a good Christian man. Put your broken fork right back in there. After you're done. Well, that's bacon grill. Watch your own loaf. It's good stuff. Get you a can. I highly recommend it. I'll be doing spam pretty soon here. Get me a can of that. But uh, that's a whole job over for a minute. Well, thank you for watching me eat. And, uh, I enjoy doing these because I get to eat. I'm a fat ass. So uh, if you anything else you want me to eat, let me know. Follow me everywhere. Twitter at Rob Tacklebox. Instagram at Rob Tacklebox. Um, um, Facebook. Got my Facebook page. So find me over there at Rob Tacklebox. Uh, shit. Um, Xbox live rob tackle box is the name add me if you want to uh just have a good one and thank you for watching my videos everybody and subscribing uh, i'm up to like 222 last i looked probably a little bit more than that maybe not i don't know but thank y'all for subscribing and watching please share my videos if you would every now and again i do them all just share one out there uh tell anybody you know might want to make fun of me or just watch me or enjoy watching me whatever the hell help get me out there folks i appreciate y'all and hope there's many more so i can uh, keep doing this and enjoying myself. Uh, have a good day and, uh, thank you for watching.